promises. Broken. The month is over and not one video posted. Still I press on and rise up to the sun. Only to fall back down to earth. Ashes to dust. Hello everybody, Ninja Fox in gaming back again with another video. Sorry I haven't posted in so long, family stuff got in the way, but I am back now and today I'm showcasing the set for my previous video. For story purposes here in this world, I am a god, but all gods have their limitations. And that is what the interesting story bit will be for today. If you just stay a little bit longer, uh, you'll get to find out. Okay, so here we have this field. I love this field so much. It, it's just, I really like fields when they're just one big field. Something about looking at a giant field makes me happy inside. Just gives me joy. Um, on one side of the field, you've got a bunch of rich houses and over where we're walking in now, on the other side of the field, you have a bunch of poor houses, kind of filled up with, um, you know, brown, sad little beds and ramshackly built steaming pile of poo over there uh and a bunch of outhouses all filled up with crap because it's the commoners village the poor sad village that can't even clean up their own crap and i just kind of wanted to make that very clear and here for the rich part of town i made some huge houses that i basically just copied and pasted because it would have been a lot more work to make each house individually and that's why they're not really filled up with much. But they do have four stories. And under the stairs in the back is the servant's entrance that I just made because I thought it would be fun to like prove how much above the commoners these people who live in these huge houses are. The ivory tower in the center I made for the sole purpose of having something to look up at as I said the ivory tower line in my last video. If you haven't watched it, by the way, you should. This will make a lot more sense if you do. The castle stands as a symbol of what needs to be destroyed. Plus, I wanted a fight scene. I made the courtyard look like it could have a battle raging in it and made some red and orange fireworks for an explosion type effect. In the entrance hall, I just wanted something grand. Oh, and this block here wasn't supposed to be there. Kinda annoying, but by the time I noticed, I was editing and we couldn't do more takes. The King's Throne I think looks pretty cool, especially on the redstone backdrop. And uh, now it is time for a smoky escape. That's my favorite scene change in the whole video. Anyway, now that we are in this village, let's talk about its lore a little bit. This big pillar of, of basically wood that I'm in is supposed to be kind of like um, a watchtower type thing for troops because they uh, are actually in the middle of a war and all the rich people are basically just having the poor people fight their wars for them and uh, tax them for the wars as well so they don't lose anything from it but a bunch of you know uh, poor people die in squalor and in combat all for these totally evil people and that's why they want to rebel down here is kind of like a trench type thing over here, you've got uh, the blacksmith um, making weapons and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I really like it. So the idea is there's a huge divide between the poor and the rich until the poor storm the castle. That happened in my previous video. It's also a metaphor for trying to get the attentions of the partner program, even though I'm only one person. Okay, so now we come to the only rich house in this poor town, owned by an old eccentric scientist and art connoisseur. Nobody has ever gone in that house but him, and these days people barely see him anymore. But I think it's time to go in and show off the place. This is something that I actually didn't build myself, and so I haven't really seen it yet, but it definitely looks interesting. Um. Yeah, I, li I like the doors and the entranceway. And uh, what's this? Ah, an art room. Clearly an art connoisseur. Somebody who likes art quite a bit to have an entire room just devoted to art. Art on the walls. Huh. 
An old reading chair with cobwebs. Looks as though it has not been used in quite some time. More books and art. And a map with the high district cut out. That's odd. Maybe it sheds some light on why he lives in a poor village even with all this money. <laughs> hmm. All right, open this door first. Ah, it leads to the stairs. Let's try the other one. Aha! The old man's room, furnished, though it seems unused. Strange. And this window space is half closed up. That's odd. A book open, but covered in dust. Seems like he hasn't been here in some time. And, uh, yep, leads to the same place. Up here, uh, there's lots of space, but only two paintings. However, if I remember correctly, there was a window up here. And uh, I don't see a window space. So, hmm, yes, aha, a secret room. I knew it. Huh, what's this guy been hiding? Here's the window space. And it goes even lower, and... Whoa! Metallic plates connected to lights? This tech from the future. And down here, a door. Huh. It's real dark down here. Um, can't really see much, and... Hey! The room! It's... It's stealing itself off! No! Help! Get me out of here! I'm claustrophobic! I can't be stuck down here! I'm a god! Help! <laughs> Next week... Trapped in darkness.